ground robots that both attack and defend. Neural networks that demine the most mined country in the world. Drones invisible to the enemy and radios that cannot be jammed by electronic warfare means. All of this is defense tech innovation originating from Ukraine. Imagine being attacked by an enemy 28 times larger. Can one withstand such a situation at all? Yes. If one unites with allies based on values and acts wisely. Very wisely. In Ukraine, defense tech innovations are developing rapidly. Numerous projects are being developed across the widest spectrum of directions within the Brave One defense tech cluster. Unmanned aerial vehicle, unmanned ground vehicle, artificial intelligence, electronic warfare, and much more. Remember R2-D2 from Star Wars? Well, meet its very distant relative, the D2111 robot. This machine is equipped with an automatic turret and can conduct reconnaissance, assault or defend positions, safely deliver supplies to the front line and conduct evacuations. D2111 is controlled by a human, but it can also calculate ballistic corrections on its own and help to determine its location. Essentially, it has artificial intelligence, albeit very primitive. Nonetheless, ground robots can save precious lives of Ukrainian soldiers and become the next game-changer of this war, much like UAVs have already become. This is Ukraine's asymmetric response to the numerical superiority of the enemy. That said, nobody forgets about UAVs either. Currently, over 200 Ukrainian companies are involved in UAV production. And the successful operation of such drones is perhaps the most common type of video content from the war. Backfire is an autonomous reusable bombing UAV that flies silently, has a low visual profile and is almost immune to jammers as it does not rely on a radio channel with ground control. Additionally, it can use almost any type of munitions. Part of the Backfire manufacturer team serves in the Angry Birds unit of the Ukrainian army. They already used their drone at the front line. Judging by the drone's performance, the team was satisfied with the tests. Over 100 successful combat missions, destroyed artillery, armored vehicles, electronic warfare and reconnaissance systems, and personnel deep behind enemy lines. However, the enemy also actively uses UAVs. Therefore, another focus of attention for Ukrainian developers is electronic warfare systems. The Pluton complex warns fighters about approaching UAVs and can be installed on both vehicles and stationary objects. Thanks to the algorithm that compares signals with the database, the probability of successful detection is 99.99%. Additionally, Pluton can distinguish not only the distance to the drone, but also its type. It is already being used by several units at the front line. There are also achievements in traditional military directions. A notable project that has won several technological awards in Ukraine is Chimera. It's a compact tactical level radio, nearly invisible on the air due to frequency hopping and low radio power. Moreover, it is composed of commercial components, making production simple and affordable. This solves the problem of using civilian radios on the front line, as they can be easily intercepted by the enemy. Additionally, Chimera can transmit not only voice but also data, making it applicable on the battlefield as part of the NATO C4 ISR system – command, control, communications, computers, intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance. It utilizes a modern integrated approach combining demining and AI. UI Damage is an automatic mine detection platform that uses a whole array of sensors. Machine learning helps automatically detect potentially hazardous objects. And the magnetometer provides data on any magnetic metallic objects weighing from 200 grams at depths up to 2 meters. According to developers, this system makes demining 10 times cheaper and 100 times faster. Considering that Ukraine is currently the most mined country in the world, UA damage definitely has prospects. Moreover, this system can also contribute to global food safety, since the UA damage neural network can determine from the traces left by the flights what exactly exploded here and what contaminated the soil. This will allow better choices for planting fields and ultimately 
faster restoration of Ukraine's agriculture, one of the planet's key grain actors. To more effectively implement defense tech innovations, exactly one year ago, six state institutions created the unique Brave One platform for the development of innovative defense projects. In just these 12 months, over 1,600 projects were submitted to the platform. 800 of them were granted Brave One status, meaning they passed military expertise and received comprehensive support from the cluster. As a result, the Ukrainian military continues to defend its land. And breakthrough defense tech projects allow them to do it even better and smarter.